guys, hope you're having a good day. Uh, big hello from a very sunny, uh, a very dry, um, a very hot desert uh, in Chile. It's actually, the area is called the Ilki Valley. Uh, it's in the southern part of Atacama Desert. Um, and you'll see once I head over this mountain range, um, it's famous for growing grapes, which you think is quite strange because it's so dry, but uh, I mean, that's very good for the growing of them, but obviously you need a lot of water. So um, the other thing it's famous for is it doesn't actually rain here at all. I think they get like five days of rain, about 120 mils a year. Um, so it's very clear. So there's a lot of observatories here. If you look uh, without me dying, there's a little, look over there. There's, you'll see two white things, that's two observatories there in this massive, this is like off the other side, you'll see um, the main valley in a second as we come over this little mountain range and and yeah it's actually very cool here, like I highly recommend it, um, it's about a thousand kilometers north of the capital uh, Santiago and it's uh, very relaxing. Um, really really relaxing place uh, I'm doing a I'm heading to a town called Pisco uh, Elki right now because there's a few um, Pisco distillery wineries there so cool yeah perfect so there's uh, the main city um, and as you can see that's the road going down which is also quite cool uh, but that's the main city it's um, called Vicuna Kulna, yep, that's right. Uh, and there's actually a river, the R Alki River, that runs right through this valley. So it comes from the Andes, which is that way. Uh, and I must say, it's all from the glaciers. So you can see right over there, there's a mountain with a glacier on top of it. Um, and so all year round, they've got really, really good water for such a dry, dry area. So all that really light green down there is Pisco grapes for uh, Chile's most famous drink, which is like Pisco, Pisco Sour, Pisco Cola. Um, they pretty much make everything with it and yeah it's quite quite good very delicious um, and yeah very refreshing on a hot day like this so right now it's 27 degrees so it's not too bad it's just very very warm in the Sun um, and yeah it's quite rare to get a good breeze so um, yeah so we're just gonna head down this road uh, I gotta go to back towards the Andes, there's a little town called Pisco Alley, as I said, Pisco Elki, sorry, as I said, uh, and it's where you can do a tour and a couple of free tastings, stuff like that, so it should be a good afternoon spent, and yeah, then tomorrow I'm looking at actually heading back towards Argentina, so I'm going to go city right and head to Argentina, so these, this road is like, comes off a place called La Serena, which is on the coast so if you follow route 5 which is the main highway in Chile uh, if you follow route 5 um, it's really only north or south in Chile every, every time you meet someone you there's the standard question are you heading north or are you heading south because it's such a skinny country it's all north to south up and down so this got this valley's like uh, you see come up La Serena and then you go straight across towards the Andes so most people would you uh, use the base of La Serena as the town to come into the valley if they wanted to do like observatory tours um, stuff like uh, Pisco checking out the Pisco vineyards and stuff like that um, instead of staying in a little place like this but I mean I, I, I'm really enjoying it here like it's this is really really chilled out um, and it's a good little food place isn't it as well so yeah it's been very very pleasant especially coming from the capital which uh, once since I've been on the bike for so long and enjoying such beautiful scenery like this the cities are very overwhelming smoggy and um, yeah not so pleasant place to ride uh, place to come out and chill and yeah just have some uh, great times on the bike very very sunny and Make sure you bring a lot of water up here. I mean, it is a desert, so <laughs> yeah, it's quite uh, very, very dry. It doesn't rain at all. So, so yeah. So now I'm going to head back to a town called Vilcuna. Vilcuna. Uh, it's the biggest town in the area, um, but it would it'd be it's barely a town to be honest. It's a really nice little square. The buildings uh, very much remind me of like southern Spain because of the climate here I guess and 
that's probably when they were built. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just so yeah do a quick video, show you um, more of the valley. Uh, obviously, the town is kind of on the other side there, and that's where the river. The river's called Elki as well. So uh, if you see on the map, you, it's quite a fast-flowing river, and I guess it gets water all year round. So uh, enough to grow those delicious grapes for Pisco and yeah there's not much wildlife here which I guess is also uh, a sign of the water maybe I don't know but it's a bit very different to Patagonia where you see the little um, llama looking things running around and also a lot of little ostriches uh, and rabbits badgers all that kind of stuff so yeah this is pretty barren or they come out at night which is probably more likely to be the case um, 